to recording. All right, welcome everyone at the Multi Networking Community Sync. Today is July 5th. Um, and let's continue our discussion. I think um, uh, before we will jump to those, I had an AI to uh, investigate downward API, which unfortunately I didn't have time to do. We had a bit shorter weekend week uh, than usual because of 4th of July. Sorry about that. So I will try to push that for the next week and look into that uh, for the next uh, week's meeting. This is this was for our kind of um, looking into uh, slowing, uh, kind of reducing the scope and just looking what what it takes to get the, the download API done. Um, Beside that, I think that was the only AI from last week. So to cover that, let's I, I'm pushing it for the next week. Um, all right, and let's move on to the discussion, uh, uh, Michael. What you were uh, asking for, um, I think this was from last week. Um, Tomo, uh, you started talking whether we should support um, CNI configs. And, and correct me if I'm wrong, but from kind of from the kind of to summary, uh, this is what exactly this is one of the examples of a CNI config where uh, it can chain multiple um, CNIs that will, in a single call, add multiple network interfaces. Let's say you can chain two Mac VLANs and it will just add two of those to you in a single call. Um, I think, uh, do we have Michael Cambia? He was mentioning and he was saying that the standard was to always support one uh, interface per config. But is... so the, actually, the, I'm pointing the uh, pull request ATX. This is already merged. Upstream CNI, CNI, the CNI community's reference plugin support, IP VLAN can consume the previous in interface information and then create the another interface. Support and slaving an interface returned by IPAM. Mm, but I think... So, so the, uh, from the, uh, uh, from the CNI spec point of view, uh -huh. the one, one CNI conflict, maybe the, yeah, the from the one point or the uh, uh, CNI config is kind of the conflict which they chain the plugin as a default. The chain plugin, they can the create the multiple interface and then return the these informations back to the content runtime as the one result object. So my my example, you know, so the let me double check the uh, mic is also the CNI maintenance, I think. Is that correct? Sorry, I was chewing and had my headset off um, oh. and I heard my name. Can you say again? So, so, the, uh, so currently the CNI conference could create the multiple interface to the container and then without the, uh, the this return the one result which contains the multiple interface information. So the, uh, the right the uh, IP bureau could create the another, the, IP IP VLAN plugin uh, is chained. I mean that the uh, the one CNI like the uh, host device, then the host device the the bridge, and then using the this bridge interface, the uh, user can create the another IP VLAN interface based on the this stuff, right? So yeah. this is the barrack. Yeah, it certainly does support that. Uh, right now, the interface is, is an array, so you can add as many as you want. That's an implementation detail. Okay. So, so that this means the uh, so currently the 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 pod network object consumes the one uh, CNI config like the net attached echo. Wait, one. Tom. Okay. We already okay. established. Okay, let's keep you know, something on on something. On, on page. Pod network is an API, which is not tied to CNI. CNI is one of the implementations for multi -network. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but so the, let's uh... make sure that's clear. So uh, what I want to say here is I don't think we need to make sure that pod network fits into whatever CNI does today, because it's, it's 
I, I can say the same. Let's make sure pod network supports network attachment definitions for multus. That's what you're saying. That's at least what, what I think is the same parallel. So what CNI does, I think with, with what we have with ability to specify the list of parameters ref, won't that satisfy that part? And to be honest, is that a use case? And, and, and Michael, maybe that's, that's a good question to you. Is that a use case that anyone uses? Because I never heard of it. Or anyone in the in here in the room can 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 say is that something? I know that you, you linked a uh, an example for this, but anyone saw this type of usage in production or yeah. or trying uh, looking into such 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 use case? So so they I'm the uh, yes. At the last meeting, uh, the agenda, uh, no, the twenty-first, the meeting, the KubeCon, the uh, mentions that the uh, Lyft, the company, already used such stuff in the their project. I think this is okay. the KubeCon's presentation. Oh, that's fair. So low latency multi-cluster. Networking, but yeah. this is multi cluster networking. Oh, yeah, Leah, I will have to watch through that. I'm assuming this is their alternative to Multus, that's at least how I'm seeing it. Probably, mm -hmm. um, but they're using the Multus, yeah. And why they're not here to drive this use case, unless someone can, can is there someone from that? That's that's I. Uh, is that something that we really need to support, Tomo? That's I th uh, so the I th so I believe that the uh, this multi network community sh they should target as much as the use case of the current to the uh, this concept because uh, the, yeah, this I, multi network I do agree. is not the uh, enforcing it to you as the one or one stuff, and then the, we already understand network use case is the pretty diverse. I mean that even though the amount we just saying the multiple interface, but that the every user have the every different use case. So they we need to somehow uh design this stuff to uh the uh the uh, uh API as much as possible we capture the use case. And but then basically this, so that this is it, about the uh, pretty so that this presentation is in the held at the cubicle, so the uh, this is, of course, the KubeCon is a famous conference, right? And then the this is also the, uh, the they already did that, the, uh, the current Kubernetes. And then once, if the we just dropping, hey, this is not support, it's not supported in the latest Kubernetes. And then this is not good, I think, because- No, no worry, Tomo, again, you trying to uh, pull in CNI support to the standard of this. This is what I was saying, it's an implementation detail. Please don't pull that in. Uh, I think, so So maybe let's do an exercise. Let's do slightly differently. Let's do an exercise on how could, with the existing API, how could someone do what you're asking for? So basically having those multiple APIs. And let me maybe jump back to the um, to our draft of the of the text, right? So if I oh. were to do an exercise, oh. right? And let's but say this the, is a list. Okay. But today we need to keep in mind the current upstream Kubernetes support the CNI as the network. So this no, is the so, so, on, to do this stuff, right? I don't think even even I need to watch that video though. So I'm not sure how, what is the level of their support with that multiple CNIs. And to be honest with you, so they no, definitely no no, 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 no. Let me let so, me finish my thought. So, let me okay. finish my thought. So sorry, Tom. And to be honest with you. They follow the current approach that they had right now with these multiple interfaces added because there is nothing else except for Multus. And maybe they didn't want to go into Multus. All right. I need to watch the video that you linked because that's a good one. And, and I want to see why. Because my question is if they wanted to do multiple interfaces, why they just didn't use Multus? Maybe they just want to use something native. And the only native thing was use the CNIs. And maybe when we introduce this, that will give them, oh, a new platter of capabilities where, okay, now we can do it in a different way where it's more standardized rather than having a conf that just arbitrarily adds uh, multiple interfaces. So 
my, my my guess to this i'm not sure uh but i need to watch the video uh to, to, to kind of to determine that but that might be the case but put it let me you, you wanted to say something tom go ahead so so i'm also strongly recommend to you also read the uh pull request ata discussions i mean that the this is the different from the lift use case but that maybe the the uh, both have the same the design i mean that the uh, second i mean that the, they they create the uh, one the two interface and the one cn accomplished at that time the this the second interface cre creation is depend on their first interface so this so they, they want to this the describe this stuff as the chain plan so that that's the uh, maybe the one reason and then currently the uh, and then also the uh, if we describing that this stuff somehow maybe they, we need to be describing the uh, implementations but so currently we do not have Maltus does not have the uh, dependency diagram yet so so they are, so currently they are from the design wise if there someone wants to use the uh, dependency creations at that time that they should use the chain so so studying stepping okay but stepping back to what they use today and if we were to introduce this this guy and uh, I'm not saying it has to be like this, but let's assume, let's let's say that CNI implementation of pod network will be just by name. So basically I have a conf name, uh, like uh, I use the name as the conf list that I have to select during the, from the conf list on, on, on the list of the, um, you have the conf files in the CNI path and basically the name inside the uh, conf list is represented by pod network and it's one to one mapping. There's nothing else. It's very simple. Let's assume that's the implementation. And let's assume data plane points to that conflict that has multiple interfaces. There you go. It's it's all installed there. And now it's up to CNI on to properly support and fit into the conformity of the uh, return uh, parameters that we define here. So basically stating how many IPs they return all that. So that's up to them to define that. But basically, it's all supported. It's all there. It's the way the way they have it today. So it's not we are never so, going to support it because that's not true. We are, but it's a matter to CNI on how they conform to the APIs themselves, and they fit in because it's the same thing what they have today. It will be then as well. Okay. So the let me be adding the comments on that. So the in this case. The one, and then the, maybe the, in the lift or some case, the uh, one CNI conf, uh, as the uh, your the uh, the told the uh, this okay, that's the uh, pod network name is matched to the CNI name, and then the mm -hmm. the lift creating the two interface. But the, right. the this two interface is not belongs to the one network, right? Okay, let's, it's up to them. So, Tomo. Yeah. So, so let's 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 also imagine the first interface is just the IPB run stuff, and then the next interface is creating the uh, tunneling interface, like the uh, uh, like tail scales okay. case. The WireGuard interface is created. So, WireGuard interface using the creating the tunnel to the outside the VPN ish interface. At that time, first interface and then the second interface have the different side or different IP address, different network. What's it's to... Tomo, okay. it's it's it is the same as you were exam showing an example of one interface is going to be Mac VLAN, the other is going to be SROV. And I, I and you will wish to use where you, where was it? It was here. And you would want to use multiple parameters reference for that. No, 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 so, no, no, no. It's similar. I know it's slightly different from your point of view, but I would say it's up to the implementation on how they're gonna handle that later on. It's not something that I, uh, I we're gonna fit. So we are proposing an API that better represents networking. How the implementation implementator is going to kind of use that? That's up to the implementation itself, right? So I assume Michael then later on will look at this API and see how CNI is going to fit into this exactly. Right, I think he has more or less ideas right now, but that's what it boils down to. So I don't but think we need to look into that so much. You bringing that up, it's fair. Yeah. Let me watch through the videos, but and, and I recommend everyone else. But so, but the, the keep in mind. So currently, the one 
uh, currently the uh, some case the uh, one configuration may creating a two interface and then the both is maybe in the same network or the both may not be the uh, same network right that the uh, one interface pointing the one network one sider and then another stuff another interface pointing a different sider so currently this in this case two interface created on the one port network and then unfortunately port network is is specifying the uh, just in the network like the array is three network right? mm -hmm. so and then this object port network is also used to the uh, uh service and uh network policy right so this means if the two or more side or different networks is in the one port network, then maybe the service implementations and then the uh, network policy implementation have the challenges, I think. Um, again, I think that will so go I'm, down I'm just to... Key. So this, this is just keep in mind. Sure. But I, I think that's that will boil down to on how the implementation uh, will do that in JSON CNI, right? Um, I see we are both only two talking. Anyone else has some opinion on this? Sorry, do you mind? Do you mind just recapping a little? This discussion is about whether I, I I just come in late to it. Is it about the chaining of the CNIs or the multiple different interfaces? So uh, Tomo is bringing up a case uh, where um, a CNI can introduce two interfaces in one call. Something unorthodox. Uh, he's pointing to links here. Uh, on who is trying to do this. I think he was mentioning pointing out to Lyft, trying to do something like that, uh, where a single CNI con can introduce you two interfaces in a single call uh, to the pod. So basically something like the Multus meta call, but without meta, uh, meta plugin is just directly uh, with single call, you chain to uh, those guys. And the concern here is, is pod networks going to support that case? Right, that's that's kind of the gist of it. And uh, in my opinion, CNI, as we as we established before, is an implementation detail. CNI is not all in all uh, the standard on how uh, networking in Kubernetes has to be done. It is leverage for that. Yes, it's the main kind of entry point for that. But that's not the, that's the only thing to kind of do uh, multi uh, kind of the networking like some other implementations are doing. Um, I'll only re 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 only relying on the CNI, but other implementation using CNI as just a trigger and the rest is done by the agent, some other agent mm -hmm. on the node. So um, that's when we established that, I think we already said that a few weeks back that CNI is an implementation, one of the implementers of this, of this interface, of this API. Uh, and it will be up to it on how uh, they will handle pod network. And now Thomas concern is that the pod network will not handle the case where we can uh, call uh, when the CNI can have chaining and create multiple interfaces to the pod. And in my opinion, that's up to that implementation. So basically, eventually, CNI on how they're going to handle that later on and fit into this API that we're coming up with here. Yeah. OK. But you know, ch chaining is 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 used uh, um, quite a bit. So that's that's my opinion. It's, it's used to add in interfaces. So. Right. But but my take is uh, I need to watch that video on that what, what Liv did and what was the reason behind it. Um, but chaining is used for uh, plugins which enhance the single uh, interface add and then add, add stuff to it. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, the standard, that's something that Michael Cambria is not here, but last week Michael Mons was saying that the standard is to introduce only one interface per call per conf, conf, uh, conf file. That's something that he was mentioning. I think, Michael, can you confirm that? Or that, Michael Zappa, can you confirm something that? Is the CNI standard 
Yeah, say. that is like the the main use case where you kind of have like your main uh, your main plugin that creates like your primary interface, and then you have these meta plugins that yeah you know add some sugar to them like uh, cha make changes, enable port forwarding, and more. Uh, so usually it's one per conflict, but people have gone out and done other things, yeah. uh, which I don't think it's explicitly stated that it has to be mm. one. And if we want to, you know, ensure that it's only one, I don't, I think we just didn't want to dive into the implementation details, but I think Mike Cambria, since he was like the original, you know, writer of the spec will be, you know, the, the source of truth on that one. Yeah, he's that, I assume, he's recording from yesterday. Uh, so next week we can we can double check with him. But that's, yes, we agree that the, 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 the chaining is there, but still let's not take CNI as something that we have to support. CNI is one of the implementers. Okay, let's make sure that we treat it like that. So at, because... at the rest, let me, let me add a comment. So please add the, uh, your works on items to double check the uh, mic number here. And then another stuff yeah. is the, uh, I suppose the, C, the, how do I say? So this working group is of course the Kubernetes and the currently Kubernetes supports the CNI and then only the CNI is supported in upstream. So maybe, yeah. so this means that we, sh the, this cap is for the Kubernetes. So we should think inside, inside Kubernetes, not in this, the sections, but somewhere we should mention how we support the CNI including at this situation. So no, that already we established. The CNI, oh, in this situation, okay. Um, that's fair, yeah. So CNI can create in the multiple interface and then how this net, multi network cap is take care of that but, or not take care of that. But basically, but Tomo, but basically the, this, is, this is the same thing. Now we, we are drilling into this as, um, what I want to say, we are drilling into this with um, uh, with the notion of oh, CNI can do that, but Multus does the same. What do you thinking of doing with Multus? Because Multus is just a meta. It's just okay. You have more enhanced, uh, advanced okay. way on how you select those, but with single CNI, you're adding multiple interfaces the same way. So, so that this is the implementation details uh, you told. So I'm just talking. I'm just saying that. So the Maltos is just the one implementation. The Maltos is a part of the CNI plugin, one of the stuff, but the, this is not the whole CNI. So, so the I'm just talking about this. C, so currently, the, I'm talking about the CNI spec versus the multi network cap. So no, so but the, the this, problem is the same, Tomo. I, I know, but but basically the problem is the same. I can with a single CNI call, I can add multiple interfaces. This is the same as Multus. I can with a single CNI call, I can add multiple. Because, but you're just meta. Uh, meta implementation CNI that, is a different. Uh, I don't know so why. I, I why, mean, why I the mean that the, the end result I, I, is the same, right? Uh, no. So because the uh, Multus do not care about the dependency of the CNI cre the uh, plugin creations, but with the plugin chaining is of course the the uh, having the uh, dependencies. So in the, um, in the, the list that's, case that's, of this stuff, the one create interface created and then next is created based on the first inter interface. Currently, the Maltus cannot do that this stuff. So Maltus so, okay, so there are tweaks. Okay, anyway, there are just more. Anyway, this, but, this but is Andrew, the last... But Tomo, let's, so let's I'm, confirm I'm that. just to clarify. So the, uh, the lift, the case, uh, the uh, situation, the Maltus cannot do the same things. I declare. But the, 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 the core, what you're asking for is the same. I make a CM, single CNI, I end up with two interfaces in the pod. What's the difference between what, what, what you're saying here and what Multus does? What's the difference? It's the same thing. The end results. I know there are tweaks, uh, but, uh, but it is the same thing. Dependency is important. Uh, no, no, so, so, so that's, it... that's secondary. <laughs> no, because uh, because Tomo, the, the end. I'm talking about the end results. Let's let's put aside what's happening inside, how other tweaks are done. But think about this. I make a single CNI call, and in uh, this case, CNI, I, I receive two interfaces. 
in multiple cases, I receive two interfaces or more as well. It's just done differently. Yes, you see, there are some tweaks and 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 some uh, differences on how. But when the call comes back to Kubelet, and and basically when I make the first scene, I call from Kubelet and then I come back my pod ends up with multiple interfaces and I made only one CNI call. What's the difference? So, okay, let's imagine the first interface and secondary interface the, uh, is the having, okay, right there at the motors case. I mean that the one ne net interface A is created by the uh, net attached F A and then the uh, second interface net two is created by the uh, net attached F two. If net attached to two require net attached to requires the uh, I the bet is uh requires the previous interface information such as the IP address plus interface net. Currently in Maltus doesn't support it. But so they are in the uh, lift case or some stuff. I mean that let's in the other end hold. The one example is about the tail scale or some stuff. I mean that they're creating the uh, uh, the BPN ish interface. At that time, of course, this interface requires the previous network interface name to getting the connections, as well as the, sometimes the, they may add in, require the source IP address as well. So currently, the uh, the Maltus net attached dev is just the net attached dev information. So, so the, they do as uh, the how do I say when you are creating the uh, net attached def two. At that time, the net attached def one is not being executed. So this means that we do not get the interface name as well as, as well as the IP address. Okay, so basically so, the difference is being that each interface is represented by a network attachment definition. That's what you're saying. Yeah, so, so but that, then... that, that's the uh, stuff. So that's why the uh, plugin chain, they use the plugin chaining. I mean that the one interface created and then the second, the plugin, can read the output of the the uh, first plugin's output, and then they get they got the interface name, IP address in the uh, result object, and then do the uh, creating the uh, uh, next interface, right? The uh, tunneling interface or IP VLAN or some stuff. So, so currently uh, this stuff, and also uh, this so, so is they rely uh, on the on so they rely strongly on the passing the parameters between the CNIs. That's what you refer to. And then also uh, there this situation, I mean that let's abstract this stuff. I mean that sometimes the uh, one net, the, the uh, some user is creating the multiple network interface, but also that this have the uh, dependencies. So, so I mean that, so the like the uh, current, the uh, your uh, attachment, the structure, is have the just a list. At that time, we do not have the dependencies. Or well, maybe that we are, we could add in implicitly adding the dependencies. But also the uh, sometimes some some user wants to utilizing the previous interface information to next uh, interface stuff. So so the maybe we need to think about the how we implement how we design this stuff in the, uh, in the API. So that's what I'm trying to tell you, Tomo. It's you're trying to conform one of the implementations. I don't think we have to, and we shouldn't. So like the dependency that you referred to or the chaining, that's how the CNI does it. And that's their implementation, the date prerogative. And that's it. We are not going to represent CNI into this object. That's CNI's job. That's a completely different job of this object to represent a network or what you are attaching to a pod. That's it. All right. So let's not get into that on how to kind of represent the other stuff because that's not. Um, uh, I don't think that's that's valid. Uh, let's let, let me. Uh, I recommend everyone else as well watching the the links and reading through the links and, and comments. I, I want to kind of know more about what they have in mind into this. And let's maybe as as uh, Michael is recommending, let's shelve this for the next week. Uh, see, maybe we're gonna have more more data on that one, and and we can continue the discussion. Um, 
all right and, and let's now i think in our discussion i think this is came from uh the um i think the initial discussion came from making the uh uh, the params uh, reference a list which we agreed to make so just to kind of keep up everyone from last week uh, this this is will become a list you can specify multiple uh, elements here now uh, and and I think this stemmed from us talking about the network interface um, uh, I think this is something that I was thinking to introduce I don't think we concluded on anything uh, though uh, to kind of remind everyone um, this would be a object describing how an individual uh, pod uh, sorry. is attached to a sorry much uh, from pod based yes. on sorry the the based on the document the uh, the uh, stuff the uh, structures we we do not covering all uh, the we do not covering yet about the uh, uh pod the spec plus the pod network attachment field yes i think we we did i think we finalized for now on so before because why we didn't finalize attaching pod to a network because the other object is relevant to that on how so basically i was i was showing this this thing last week last time before that so how we attach and how much you can um customize your stuff into a, a pod network attachment and i was thinking of what if we were to uh, propose this thing right because i don't think anyone will allow us to point to a custom anything inside this section that's i don't think nobody will allow us us to do this so what we can do is point to an, another object that will be uh, will be able to specify exact parameters for that specific attachment so uh, I think this is what you referred to, Tomo. And then also the uh, um, as uh, the I mean that the par. Uh, so sometimes the uh, from the implementations the point of view implementations may want to add the uh, some additional parameters on the. Uh, uh, That's what I'm referring. Stuff. Yeah, exactly what I'm saying. And basically, those parameters cannot be in this piece. This is pod spec. Nobody would allow us. I don't think that's my at least uh, uh, considering how um, uh, currently the whole objects are structurized. I don't think anyone allow us to point to an arbitrary. Uh, so parameters how how, how you there? Okay, how you the provides that these information? Right. So either we um, I, that, that's. That's that's the thing. Right now, we don't have that ability. Right. Uh, I was thinking maybe to provide a, in, a individual inter, uh, individualized objects, but I'm not sure whether those are useful. Right. The problem with um, uh, pod network versus pod network interface. Right. Um, is that okay? I can reference. Okay, you attach to a specific network as a whole thing, or you have exact parameters on how you attach to it all right the problem with that second approach is that it is individualized so you cannot use this in replica sets because this object cannot be shared right uh, this object cannot be shared because uh, it specifies let's say mac address right and mac address cannot be repeated so basically as pod network is just a general information okay this attachment goes uh, goes through this inter uh, this attachment goes through this pod network and then uh, okay i know how to attach that stuff to 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 to, to, to it and i will do it in a general uh, some randomized way right whatever the defaults are but maybe i can provide and a more specific information for those defaults right i want to use uh, variable a b c and d for those defaults that are in the first use case but the problem with that approach is that you can use it only for non-replica set pod specs, right? Because you cannot specify and, and leverage the same pod network interface into the same multiple pods. That's the kind of the problem. And even whichever approach we take, even if we were to use a, a specific parameters here, right? Uh, on how to attach to a network pod network, 
those yeah, always so will be individualized, right? Uh, you cannot so have uh, those used with um, with uh, replica set. So, so that you're just talking about the MAC address and the IP address as a parameters. Yeah. And but those are just examples. Yeah. But I think there, there is a use case to be made for parameters that are repli replicable. Uh, so, like what, Nathan? Give um, me an example. So, one example that we have is uh, the type of interface. So, if you want, for example, a turn versus a tap or a memory interface or well, shouldn't that then Nathan go into the pod network itself as a piece of uh, because if it's what I'm I think, saying is I, I think it's so um, I would say probably no because you mm -hmm. um you might so that that's that's something that that's inherent to the pod itself uh, meaning some pods in replica set will expect to connect to a given network with a specific type of interface, because, for example, they need a high-speed interface, uh, someone with Q, uh, an interface with high QS, uh, they, they will be able to consume, and they want to talk to another pod, maybe, on the same network, but that doesn't have this capability to attach. Okay, and, I hear you. And so the, so the, the specific use case that we have is um, we have support for MEMIF, uh, which um, right. so okay. uh, yeah. uh, and uh, regular NetDevs uh, turn taps, and we want to be able to to have applications that use MEMFs to attach to a network, and applications that use regular interfaces to that to attach to the same network, and be able and that the two are able to talk to each other, basically. I'm. Oh, yeah, that's valid. I, 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 I hear you. But so, so basically, this is a similar case to what I think Tomo was proposing, mm -hmm. uh, saying, saying that, okay, I have a pod network with Mac VLAN and SROV, right? And mm -hmm. then yeah. depending on whatever I want to, the network is kind of the same. But mm -hmm. I think uh, <laughs> what if uh, I know that one of the arguments and Tomo was giving the same argument that, okay, I want to connect to the same subnet. Right, and because of that, I'm treating my network. I'm representing my subnet as a pod network, and and I'm 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 not gonna give you any question why, why why a, a pod network has to be represented by a subnet, and and this might be what you need to do in your environment. But keep in mind, pod network is representing what you are connecting to the pod, not what it doesn't have to fully describe one to one what your um environment yeah. looks like mm. and this is this is this is your if you want to yes you can but i mm. i'm throwing just another kind of uh, uh proposal here uh for for your both of you your use cases mm. why not each of those can be represented by a single a different pod network right but the... you, you're trying to make it because you're trying to make the uh, pod network on a level of just ipam and i say why uh, not and... why not go up to, to the type so even? okay and... so so in this case the yeah, um... no, no. Diff, the uh, diff, how do I say, one network cider like the 10.0.0.27, 10 mm -hmm. 24, for each interface type, Mac VLAN have the one Mac VLAN net pod network, the IP and the SRB is SRB pod network. And then also if the SRB have the two choices and that the SRB have the parameters, which is like the uh, spoof check or of course, the VRAM or this stuff is the parameterized as the uh, SRB CNI home. So that each parameters, we even though that both is is connecting the one layer three network, we need to create this stuff. And then I'm I'm just wondering how the network policy is working. Network port. So the so currently based on this data, we do not we cover that yet. But I suppose that the uh, Network policy object is associated is uh, associated with the one mm -hmm. network object, right? Right. So in this case, the, the if if we design the for each parameterized object parameterized, mm -hmm. we have the multiple pod network object. At that okay. time, the multi network policy is not works, right? Because 
SRP... you would have to ap apply the same network policy to multiple networks yeah. then yes that's a that's a trouble yeah right yeah but that's i think it's the, so yeah, the thing yeah. as well as the memory for this stuff so srp have the lots of their parameters vram vram qos and then the RFC TX rate. Sometimes in the high hardcore networking, I want to specify this stuff as the uh, demo set based. And of course, that this is the demo set. What the tap the uh, uh, replica set is support because the uh, not the IP address. So the of course the same parameters is apl applicable to the old part. So keep in mind that we definitely cannot pass any of those, right? Uh... So that that's the challenges. So. I mean that sometimes the user wants to okay. do that. So the um, if we having uh, this stuff and then the user makes the happy, uh, the, this makes the user happy. So I, I, I'm pushing back on any type of adding any fields, custom fields in this in this section. That's, I don't think that will be uh, a, able. Uh, and let me that... let me run that by, by someone in the group, but I don't think that's even possible to pass uh, that kind of approach, right? So I don't think that's even a, 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 I, I think that will be a no-go. So that's something that we need. Uh, let me investigate into that. But then the alternative, and, what I'm, and yeah, go annotations forward. wouldn't be annotations wouldn't be possible. Oh no, no, that's mm -hmm. like you can always leverage annotations, uh, Anita, and that's but then that's up to your implementation and how you handle that, right? So you but you, you can. Yeah. But yeah, we, we can use the port annotation on this stuff, but also the, uh, but also at that time, the, I'm just wondering the, why we need to introduce the port network, because the port, I mean, the because amount of- Your use case, uh, yes, in your use cases, maybe, because then you have to have additional parameters. That's why, and most goes, like probably other use cases won't, won't be that. And to be honest with you, uh, no, I don't want to go there, but, I, I think this is like I, I think we are here and talking for the last half a year. I think we everyone feels an advantage of that. I don't think that's right now. Uh, it, it, it's not a good thing to have this. Uh, Nathan, so, but also the, let me let me add the add the, the comment. This is the last. So there, this this stuff is already supporting the models, but the, this is not supporting the model network app. This means. The user, some, some user are still using the motors, not the port network. So they discuss the port network doesn't cover such use case. Mm -hmm. Just keep in mind. I hear you. Yeah, I know what you're saying. So that's why I would want to kind of um, what what about the port network interface? Is that any any time anyhow useful, right? Because this is where maybe because that will be our object then, right? We're introducing a new object that is ours. Right, and then in here you could point to anything custom, or we could specify a, um, I don't know, a, a, a options uh, dictionary, right? So basically, some sort of like uh, either so frankly, uh, there is no such objective, right? No, no, no. Yeah, that, there is none. Yeah, we IP have to address name, port network name. Yeah, is yeah. there any space for that? What do you mean space? What do you mean? I mean, I mean that. So currently, the spec that only have the port network name, IP address, MAC, and MAC address, right? I'm, so, yeah, we're discussing Thomas, so it's not like okay. it's set in stone. So basically, uh, this will be um, what will be that? Uh, params map. Let's say that, right? And this is uh, dictionary, right? Let me just do this very raw dict. And this is a dict, right? So basically, then uh, this can ha help have something like uh, so that I have the course params map, and then I can do this, right? Uh, full bar and blah. Okay, never mind. Blah, blah, right? And, and so on and so forth, right? And then if it's you, how you understand those. Um, that's just my, yeah. just one of the ideas. I'm not sure that's the best one. I think using unstructurized um, objects is not the best way to go. So maybe we should rather propose a uh, pointer to another params ref here instead, thoughts. 
should that be this or should that be a just another params refs right where were you here or another this guy because this is something that we can probably uh get through compared to just uh, spec i don't think we in a pod spec we will be able to have like this ports map or a reference to a custom object i don't think that's possible right this guy has more options and then has pointers to some div some custom stuff right where you can place wherever you want to right and then you like some example in in multus case uh you would uh, instead of because if i'm not mistaken today multus has the uh, json format of the um, uh, annotation right per per each attachment so basically instead of having the json you will just create a structurized object out of that and then point it here right that's yeah. that's what it could be right and then you have everything structurized everything is nicely um, uh, validatable uh, you can validate everything nicely, and then mm. uh, it's more uh, more clear on how to use that. Yeah. Um, I think it it adds a bit of complexity with all the objects, but I think it's worth. That's it, the problem, uh, yeah. right? Yeah. The problem here is that oh, yeah. the, the the thing here is uh, yeah, adding this reference is very cumbersome. Like from the UX point of view, okay, I have pod network. It has pointers to a custom object. And I have my network attachment that points to the, because here is his pod network, pod network name. So basically this network interface points uh, one. So basically uh, one pod network can attach to only one network, right? Mm -hmm. And that, because that describes on how I'm attaching to a specific uh, pod. So basically I'm specifying spec on how it's attached. And then in the, uh, in status i say what i really did right mm -hmm. and then uh, that's is being used in the pod later on right so that's mm -hmm. what it will mean right this is yeah, a but... way out instead of mm -hmm. you doing those uh, annotations or what's not on the pod yeah. this is a way out to do this on a uh, per attachment basis mm -hmm. right but i think with what we what you said before on the fact that you uh, so you can have the per pod uh, parameters. So basically, those parameters ref will probably be templates, and you probably will only have a handful of those, which you can then share between. Yeah, you could do that as well. Yeah, I agree. And because, maybe yeah. my 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 approach, because that's I, I maybe put it under my, uh, and I apologize for that, under my kind of view of my implementation, where each interface describe is unique right and it should not be shared across um, uh, multiple pods which uh, what you showed an example of that's not doesn't have to be a true right so basically you would not so maybe question is should we even have those because those ip address and mac address make um, those those two fields and force that those has to this 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 object has to be uh, this object has to be um, unique per each pod. Maybe we should just remove those, right? You cannot specify that parameters here unless unless you wish to, then then specify any para parameters ref. And then I, for example, in my case, if I want to do that, then I will make it uh, it's unique one to one only, right? But other implementation uh, doesn't want to do that. They want to have it like you, what you would, I want to specify like a type to select from the pod network, right? Or something. And then it doesn't have to be unique, right? So maybe that that should be the case, right? And the only thing I would want to do uh, keep it here is the the parameters here, right? Because then those gives us ability to okay, what I'm really setting in my pod, right? And what is being said because that's like IP address on a pod, MAC address per each attachment is useful, right? And those are just defined uh, rather than um, um, uh, set right so basically yeah. this is done by automation whatever is being said the only the other thing here is that that's something that i want to point out the reconciliation of object which is might be in in context of this whole thing might be slightly contradictory but i will try to explain i have five minutes to do that 
what it means is this is an object, a Kubernetes object that we reconcile on, right? How you would reconcile this on for the network attachment, right? Um, it, how would you how you would do it is you don't because w when you think about this if you were to take it on a face value where okay i have this object i, I my, my my let's say my implementation takes this object and sees okay i have interspec and i am gonna take those values and pass them to the to when i attach so this is something that you could do yes of course but what this object gives you ability to is okay i can have another controller for this object, particular object, that will look at those parameters and say, OK, uh, you want this. Let me check what I have available, right? And whatever I have available, I will set in the status. And only then the other guy, the one that was initially doing stuff, the one that looks at the pod, it sees, oh, OK, I have, I have this status. I have this guy selected. Do I have a status in it? I don't, so I wait because let's say uh, in in here I requested a IP, but the IPs the IPAM story somewhere is getting sluggish and it's not done yet, so I wait, right? So basically because I wait because I need stuff from read from here. So that gives you additional level of control, right? So you can split your um, controllers into okay. You have the pod network one that does some stuff, but you have the, uh, the, the the network interface per network attachment, a means to do some sort of reservation, some sort of a whatever you would need behind the scenes, and then post it in the spec that later on your implementation will pick and, and use and do something about it, right? Until let's say there would be conditions stating, okay, everything's good. I requested some resources here in the params ref for my custom implementation. And when it's done, it will say conditions okay, and then you can start do using it. Only then, okay, my implementation on the when 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 the pod's being started, I can really do something about this. So I just want to point out that's another flexibility, another capability you could do with this object, right? Where I can now additionally gate how I am attaching per each interface to a pod. I can do some gating on how what I want to do per each attachment to the pod, right? I want to have, let's say, some reservation done. I want to do some, I don't know, configure my switch in some special way and then ensure that everything is set up. Uh, so basically, I make sure that my controller configures a switch, a, a, a some IPAM, some DHCP, whatever the story, I don't know. Uh, and then eventually says, OK, conditions, OK, I managed to everything set up. Now you can go and create the pod for, for this guy. Something like that. I'm, I'm, I'm saying that that's something with this object. That's another way, another level of enhancement you can do to your implementations, right? So that's that's something that keep in mind. That that that's the same thing with the, with the pod, right? The same fit with pod network object where we said we have the status, right? And that gives you ability to control of when things can be ready, when things can be set up, and you can gate things when 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 things can uh, start schedule, being scheduled, right? Uh, I think that's something that I want to throw in uh, for all you to think of. Uh, sorry for, for uh, dragging this. Uh, did I manage to somehow <clears throat> convince you on this object? Uh, Tomo, uh, I think you're still here. Is that something that, that will be valid? I'm not sure which one we yep. want to go. Yeah, I'm of course here. And then the, uh, this makes the yeah, the, this makes sense to me. I mean, that the, maybe the Palms map, map is the easier one. And then if this is just parameter. We may need no need to add in the structure of the object, I think. So the thing make... here is it's always <laughs> when, you know. when we if we were to add this this map, it's always uh, what I want to say. Give give someone a little and they, they they later on want even more. So that's my problem right here. If I will give them just the map and then eventually they would want to, someone else would want to, oh, I want to have this and that, right? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I want to change even, I want to add even more. And eventually what I'm afraid, we're gonna end up with the parameters ref anyway. <laughs> because if you point to anything, then uh, then sky's the limit. You can do whatever, whenever and however, right? And then it's seeded off. So I know params, ref, params map is, from the UX and, and a customer like UX point of view, it's better, right? Because it's less cumbersome, right? I have just a map. 
I put it only in, my, in one object. I don't have to juggle like 20 objects, right? Yeah. But then I think maybe it, this, this is pretty how that they, they're good to start the implementation, I think. I mean, that if someone wants to, uh, have it, it's, let, let's move forward. I mean, that they ask the, uh, the project to or some stuff, I think. Anyway, that, that anyway, that uh, let's 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 that. yeah, talk on, talk on so, this next week. So, the, uh, yeah, let, so the gist, gist is the uh, adding the palm, the uh, implement implementation parameters in the uh, interface spec is makes sense, and then also the uh, the moving the IP address and the MAC address from the spec is also makes sense to me because I'm a little bit afraid that the uh, this design may having the IP address is mismatched between the port spec. Uh, the network interface spec and network interface status. So this means right. sometimes, yeah, sometimes we the user have a risk about the uh, request IP address is not assigned and then the random different IP address is assigned. In, in, this is the uh, pretty bad case. I mean that user wants to assign the port with IP address, but this doesn't. In this case, the uh, it this port is not created. This, this makes sense. I mean that hey, user is the explicitly understand, oh, I cannot create in this part. But I'm a little bit afraid that the port is creating successfully and then the IP address is different. At that time, the use, it's pretty hard to users to understand what's happened. Otherwise, the user always need to check the uh, spec versus status every time. And then this is pretty awkward, you know? So this is, this is, just a bad user experience. Yeah, exactly. So, 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 so to that note, and 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 let's let's on that. Let's continue. I do have this read through the status section here. This is what I, I I am working towards. This basically will be the last, hopefully, thing that we want to change in API, where a, a kubelet will have to report those IPs that you're exactly referring to here. So basically. The whole implementation takes the pod network interface and pod networks and the IPAM and transforms it and eventually sets something on the pod. And the something, whatever eventually got set up, returns to kubelet and posted here. That should be the, the end result, right? So having ability to finally say, OK, this is the uh, final IP. So basically, this will be the true source of uh, uh, the, the source of truth in terms of what IPs I finally said, if, if, if you even said, because this is uh, this, we should make sure the IP is optional because some networks will not have an IP. That can be the case as well. So we must make sure, I'm not sure whether that field is omit empty, yes. So basically that's that's very good, right? So this is, this is copied from the source, right? So IP is omit empty. We would add a pod network name. So basically we will have a mapping of network to an IP and some networks might not have an IP. So basically I just add a pod network. You have an attachment to this network, but no IP, right? So so, this is something that think about this and let's talk about this next week. Yeah. Okay. Maybe, maybe we should have the interface name in the status field, I think, because the interface name is not, not the required field. Right. Yeah, we let's let's discuss next yeah, week. Yeah. Yep. All right. Thanks everyone. Bye. Thanks. Bye.